There is nothing I love more than emulating classic arcade and console games on my Raspberry Pi and using a um, Xbox 360 controller to play them. What's this? It's the At Games Arcade Gamer Portable. This is a handheld Master System and Game Gear emulator available in the UK from Argos. It contains 30 classic Sega Game Gear and Master System games and it also plugs into your television. So let's have a look at it. What do we get in the box? Well, we get the console itself. It's very nice. Lovely little design with a few nods to the original hardware. Uh, let's have a look at the back. And according to the back, this is a Sega Mega Drive arcade gamer portable. I think someone's messed up there. Let's have a look what else we get in the box. Not a great deal. We get a user guide. Just allow the autofocus to bring that in. Numbers of buttons and instructions of how to play the games and of course a note section. Let's take a look at the front of the hardware. We've got a menu button, start and pause, an A and B fire buttons and directional pad. And along the top we have video out an on off switch and a volume dial along the bottom we also have a headphone jack so it's actually better spec hardware than the current generation of iphone so let's switch it on i'm just going to boost the volume when i switch it on so you can get an idea of how accurate the audio is to the original games so I'll just scroll through just to show you which games are available on the console. Unfortunately there is no SD card slot to add further ROMs to the device. But there is some good ones on here. The, uh, the full list of them is in the video description below. As you can see we've got some great games here. It's a shame we haven't got some of the stronger Sonic titles. But there is one or two on here that are well worth playing. We'll jump in with Alex Kidd in Miracle World, which of course was built into many a Master System 2 in the UK. Mmm, theme tune. Both the buttons and the directional pad are fantastically responsive. Uh, the display, um, although it is an LCD, it does feel very much like the original Game Gear's display, although it is a, a tad brighter. I used to love this game as a kid. When I first got my Master System 2, I didn't have any games for it other than this. <laughs> I did used to be better than this, today, I can assure you. Honest. Without further ado, we'll try the Game Gear experience and we'll play one of the classic titles which is Columns. Such eerie music. Right, let's crack it open with my wonderful Poundland screwdriver. So the battery compartment comes off quite easily and the batteries come out quite quickly if you hit it on your hand, as I've done here. There's just four screws on the back to take the, uh, the back panel off. And once you remove those four screws, it's just a case of running a fingernail or a guitar pick uh, down the sides and the back panel should remove quite easily. You just need to watch yourself though, because um, where the speaker's connected to the front panel, there is two quite thin wires which, which connect to the speaker. It looks like the ROMs are stored in this chip here, this DMC chip. 
Uh, I've Googled the serial number to see if uh, there's any information on it, and it, it seems to be a chip that's in uh, quite a lot of these at games devices, and pretty much the internet has confirmed that's where the ROMs are stored. People have tried to experiment with the, with the chip to try and put custom ROMs on there with some degree of success, but uh, I'm not going to mess about with this. And then we'll remove the, the front board from the, the front panel. There's just two little screws that need to, to be removed to gain access to this. Let's give it a pull there. Just have to be careful that you don't damage the on off switch, the volume knob and the video out. And this is the, the front of the device, so it's it's very basic, there's not much to it at all. Uh, a lot of the At Games devices are of similar spec according to what I've been reading on the internet. So let me know what you think in the comments. Is it is it a quite an easy job to mod this or, or not? I'm no expert when it comes to modding hardware, I'm more of a software man. Mm -hmm.